Hello and welcome to another vlog on the Tim Whistle. I've got a new one. This is a Clark original and it's got these distinctive diamond uh, patterns which are quite helpful in finding uh, the holes. Um, I'm doing Drunken Sailor for a couple of reasons. Um, it gives me a bit of practice at changing from one octave to the other because we've got B um, to start with, just the, the top hole covered, uh, and then it drops down to E and then uh, up to G and then back to B and that is a little arpeggio so that's good practice going um, E G B that's a, an E minor chord broken up into its component parts E G B and then we've got A and we've got a, a, a D major arpeggio so that was an E minor arpeggio we've just done this is D major so we've got D F sharp and A And then we've got B again. And then we've got all open for the C sharp. And this is where it gets tricky. You've got to kind of, kind of keep hold of the whistle by putting your little finger there, not actually on a, over a hole, just to support it while you play C sharp, which is all open, all holes open. And then we've got D in the upper octave, which is all holes covered except for the top one. Blow a bit harder. Then we've got E. Uh, next one up in that next octave up. I've got to put the first finger down, lift the third finger up, and then back to the D, and then back down B, A, F sharp, and E. So some good practice for me there because, as you know, I'm a real novice at this. Um, but that break from one octave to the other is tricky, and that business of just you know balancing the thing while you play the C sharp. Good practice. Um, I've come up with my own version of Tim Whistle Tablature because I didn't really like uh, the one that most people use. Now, I know it seems a bit arrogant of me, this, um, but if I just show you uh, using my phone here. So if you look at my tablature here, you can see at the top you've got the title. Then I've got the left hand and the right hand offset left and right so you can see which hand's which. So mine's up the other way. So if you imagine that the whistle is kind of sticking out of your mouth, like that and down you see and as you look across your tablature it's the right way up isn't it you see so the B note the first note the B is the first hole covered and all these I haven't bothered to put um, open holes because they're all open you can see at a glance the first note is all B and then we have um, the note E which is five holes covered I put a line here between the uh, right hand and the left hand so you can see at a glance where you are. So B, 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 E, and then we've got here G, which is three holes covered, and back to the B. And on the top there I put the names of the notes and the counting. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. And then we'll get to the next couple of bars. We've got um, A, 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 two holes covered. You see the two nearest you? I think it works better, well for me anyway it does. And then we've got the D, all six holes covered. F sharp, four holes covered, A again. In the next row we've got uh, B, 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 C sharp. Now for C sharp I've put six open uh, holes there just to show you that it is all six lifted off. And then we've got D. Now D, notice this top hole is not covered as you look across the tablature, as you look across your whistle. And I put the D in italics, it's like your blowing your D a bit harder, this is a kind of blowing the D to the side and likewise the, the higher E where you've got five holes covered and the lowest one isn't and then you work your way back down. So there we are, that's my new take on Tim Whistle tablature and uh, maybe it's just the way my brain works but it works really well for me to look down the whistle and look across my tablature if the sheet music is flat on a table in front of me. Obviously, if it's up uh, on the music stand, it doesn't work quite as well, does it? But I always tend to put my music flat on a table, so it works for me. Anyway, I'll put it on my website if you're interested in downloading it, you can, of course. Um, this Clark Tim Whistle is lovely, but it does clog up very quickly. So I have to keep shaking it. It's got this wooden fipple. So it's very similar to this other old Clark one I've got, which is uh, just the sort of the bare tin. 
but it has got a really nice sound. I've got some other new instruments I'm dying to show you, but I want to get a bit more proficient on them before I do. So uh, that's the end of this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, you'll see me in the next one.